This is VOA News. I'm Scott Walterman. Air raid sirens as fighting intensifies between Israel and Hamas, with explosions seen in the Gaza skylines and the Iron Dome in action as rockets are launched against Israel. Israeli air and ground forces widened their attacks on Hamas in the Gaza Strip on Friday, and Hamas says its fighters were clashing with Israeli troops in areas near the border with Israel. The United Nations General Assembly overwhelmingly backed a resolution drafted by Arab states calling for an immediate humanitarian truce and demanded aid access to the territory and protection of civilians. Draft Resolution A ES 10 L25 is adopted. Now, the resolution is not binding, but does carry political weight, taking the global temperature as Israel steps up its ground operations. U.S. President Joe Biden met with China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi Friday. The United States and China are in an intense competition, and we believe the best way to manage that competition is through an equally intense diplomacy. During today's meeting, the president emphasized that both the United States and China need to manage competition in the relationship responsibly and maintain open lines of communication. U.S. National Secretary Council spokesman John Kirby, the U.S. and China, talking about a meeting between Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping next month. For Colombian, a former Colombian Army Colonel German Rivera on Friday, sentenced to life in prison for his part in assassinating Haiti's president. This is VOA News. Afghan refugees in Pakistan say they are concerned about Pakistan's decision to forcibly deport all undocumented Afghan refugees starting November 1st. Musaka Safi has this report from Peshwar, narrated by Elizabeth Cherniff. Afghan refugee Kasim Khan is selling cooked rice on the street here in the Board Bazaar area of Peshawar, Pakistan. Khan and his family entered the country with a visa nine months ago. But now his visa has expired and he is living in the country without documents. The UN says 3.7 million Afghan refugees are living in Pakistan. The country's interior ministry estimates that 1.7 million are undocumented. Pakistani authorities say that all undocumented Afghans would face forcible eviction if they do not leave the country by November 1st. For Muska Safi in Peshawar, Pakistan, Elizabeth Chernoff, VOA News. Conflict in Ukraine and the Middle East has brought the need to diversify energy sources into focus, and Reuters correspondent David Doyle says that's why German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is making his third visit to sub-Saharan Africa in two years. Well, the backdrop is conflict in other parts of the world and their impact on Germany's energy supplies. After Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, Germany turned to Qatar for liquefied gas. But an eruption of violence focused on the Gaza Strip raises fears of disruption in the Middle East. The legislator for Germany's Greens, Anton Hofreiter, said the impetus for the trip comes from Berlin's realization that it needs Africa more than previously thought. As such, Schultz will be stopping in major energy producer Nigeria, as well as Ghana. Oil is Nigeria's single largest export to Germany, and officials are considering adding gas to that mix. Reuters correspondent David Doyle, who says one problem, chronic underinvestment in Nigeria's energy sector, something that Germany may be able to help with. Looting ravaged the Mexican city of Acapulco after the iconic beach resort was hammered this week by Hurricane Otis, a record-breaking storm that killed at least 27 and left residents struggling to get food and water. Otis battered Acapulco with winds of 266 kilometers per hour early on Wednesday. Once again, fighting between Israel and Hamas has escalated. The U.N. overwhelmingly calls for aid truce. Oil prices hit a one-week high on fears of a wider conflict. I'm Scott Walterman, VOA News.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.